Well, um, the show is basically about a group of um, five kind of ordinary people who end up being caught up in a case about a missing boy whose um, mother is uh, Catherine Newman, who's Uma Thurman. And um, she's the boss of this kind of big PR public relations company in the US. And these five uh, seemingly normal British citizens are um, arrested and suspected for having done this kidnapping. And then we kind of follow them over the eight episodes as they, you know, try to prove their innocence and we kind of figure out, are they innocent or are they not? Um, and my character is Natalie Thompson. She's one of the five suspects. Um, she is someone who is, you know, about to get married. She's kind of seems like everything's going right in her life. And then um, she is arrested and it kind of turns out that there are a lot of things she's been keeping secret and there are some crimes that she's been committing. <laughs> And her life sort of slowly starts to unravel. Oh, that was such a beautiful description. I'm trying to like really remember it for any interview I ever do. <laughs> I'm like, this is what the show is. <laughs> that was perfect. Um, I play Tara McAllister, who uh, works at Oxford University. She's an academic. Uh, she's a single mom, recently uh, divorced. So she's sort of trying to reevaluate what her life is and um, you know, she's in her mid thirties and is kind of ha having a um, having a real transition in her life. Um, and she's worked really hard to get to where she is. She really cares about her career and her education and furthering that. Um, and she has some pretty lofty goals of, of of what she wants to try to to kind of live out for her daughter and to show her a good a good role model um but she's you know just trying to piece it all together as she goes and then yeah she becomes accused of this crime and um i'd say i'd agree in that yes her life definitely unravels very quickly <laughs> as well <laughs> i think for me it was when as suspects we got together um in the same space in the same room because it's you know we're all we we all need each other but we don't trust each other but there's nobody else that's going through something similar. Nobody else can relate in a way that each other can, but then there's so much distrust there. So as an actor to play that in a scene, that dichotomy of needing somebody but not trusting them was really interesting. And it's just such an acting masterclass to be with these people in a scene um, was just so much fun because you just kind of you think that you know how it's going to go and you learn your lines and then you get to set and you you're just like blown away by what people are bringing and how that changes things yeah we had some really wonderful scenes all together I really um episode 104 has just come out and there's a there's a whole sequence towards the end of that episode where all of us are kind of chucked in a van <laughs> and <laughs> then are kind of all together and and me and Lil were talking about it yesterday actually that it was all on a night shoot and it was raining and it was kind of the really intense scenes and also we were all kind of like together in this little camper van <laughs> hanging out and having fun and kind of going crazy at like five in the morning still filming um so I remember that being kind of a really special moment any time that we all got to be together was always kind of really fun and the scenes were always different and went in different directions and yeah everyone's so amazing it was great Oh, I mean, massively in the way that, um, yeah, as you say, we got shut down as did um, everybody else. Um, and mm -hmm. I think on a personal level, it gave me so much, you know, just so much admiration for the producers behind this project and everybody involved in it that they figured out protocols. And, you know, we were one of the first shows that was back up in production and it was everybody you know, was very responsible and very safe and we felt very protected and we were really successful in in being able to film during a time of COVID, you know, like we we did it and we, we managed to do it in a way that was safe and responsible. So, um, you know, there was a lot of new and uh, new ways of doing stuff, but it was a beautiful experience, honestly, because it was, you know, these hundred people figuring it out together and, and committing to, to doing that and that meant sacrifices you know that meant um being away from family or you know that's but we we were so grateful to be doing it at a time when 
you know, a lot of people didn't get that creative outlet and there was a lot of uncertainty and, and loss, 